Hi everybody, Cynthia here. I'm back with another Pinterest inspired collaboration project that I do with my friend Misha at Scraps and Things One. Hi Misha. I'm gonna post a link below this video to her channel so you can head on over, check it out and show her some YouTube love. So for the project that's due June 20th, we were to make three uh, patriotic flowers and these are the ones that inspired me. Aren't they cute? Now, I don't have any patriotic um, type paper, so I just did mine in red and blue. But you could, I'm going to show you how I put these together, but you could do like one petal in red, one in blue, one in white, one in red, one in blue. You know, you just mix it up. Um, but I just wanted to do mine plain colors so that whoever I gave them to, if they don't really do patriotic type flowers, they, ooh, they could use them on different projects. So this is how mine turned out. Aren't they cute? And I, I've done petals like this before, but I thought I would quick just kind of show you how I put them together. This one I got a little too much, a little carried away with the white paint and got a big blob there, but it still works. I think they're cute and let's get started so I've already sprayed these but basically I'm using three of the medium size five petal punch and this is one from Fiskars and then I used two of the smaller five petal punch and this is an old one but a good one from EK Success and then I used one for the center um, of this Paper Studio petal. And in fact, I need to cut one of those out right now. Um, and that's from Hobby Lobby. And this is an eight petal punch. Okay, so I made my own shimmer mist, basically using like a sparkly eyeshadow. There's recipes on this, how to make your own glimmer mist or shimmer mist online. Just type it in and um, it's really easy to make. If you don't have this, you can just use plain water. Um, but basically, I sprayed the petal. So it was pretty wet. And I'm just going to set it over there to dry. And then, let me wipe this up. When it's almost completely dry... I'm going to go ahead and get my stylus, which is basically a rounded edge tool. And let me see if I can get in a little bit closer so y'all can see what I'm doing. On the shimmer mist side, I'm just going to go in around the edges and then roll it in the middle to kind of make it curl up. Around the edges I'm pushing down and then a little bit in the center. Around the edges and in the center. Around the edges. Oops, in the center. And around the edges. And in the center. Now, that petal is still a little wet, so we're gonna leave that aside to dry. And you're basically going to do this to all of your petals. I love to make flowers, but my fingers don't love it so much anymore. They get really sore after I do a couple. So I can't really make too many I used to sit and like make these all day, but pushing down on them and manipulating all the petals just, I don't know, I guess arthritis is starting to set in and just bothers me after a while, but I still love, if I only need like four or five for a project, I'm good to go. <laughs> if I need more than that, I have to make them and then take a break for a while and, and get back to it. And I didn't spray the center part 
here and I used a black center this time you can use whatever you want but I did just kind of roll it around just so that they look kind of scooped up um, normally I use yellow or a brown center but I don't know I just felt like doing black today okay so all of your petals should pretty much be curled up like this and I do like to spray it with either water or glimmer mist because once they dry they stay nice and like firm so they don't get smashed down this one's still a little bit wet but I'm gonna be careful rolling it around the edge and then in the center around the edge and in the center if you do it when they're too wet, they don't roll up as nice. So you want to let it dry a little bit. For, but for the video, I'm just going to go ahead and keep going. Okay. So once those are all done, um, also I have these green branches. And I don't know, I cut these out on my Cricut quite a while ago, and I really don't know the cartridge that I used. Um, but basically, I'm going to go ahead and glue these first. You can go ahead and use any branch or leaf dye that you might have in your stash. But I kind of just glued them like this. Okay, so those are ready then. And I'm going to go ahead and start gluing. And then what I do when I glue, put a little bit on the back, and I make sure I layer my petals. So this petal here that I have my thumb on is going to go in between these two petals here. And that's pretty much what I mean by layering your petals. So you have a petal that you can see through the other two petals. And I'll take this one here. And I'm going to do the same thing. Layer this petal in between those. And pr oop, push down. Same thing with the little ones. You want to layer the petals, but make sure you get it in the center and that it's not off to one side. And we'll do that again. Okay, now before I go ahead and glue my leaves on, I did little specks of white paint and you can leave this option out completely up to you. Okay, now I have my center in there and it looks like that. Came out kind of cute, right? So let me get out my sheet of cardstock and I basically work on this for embossing and um, painting that way I'm not getting it all over the place and I just have an ordinary paintbrush I'm just gonna dip it into some white paint and I lay it over the flower and then I just bang it oh too much paint I don't want a big blob just kind of bang it you could flick it some people like just flick it a little bit as well but I just like to bang it for video purposes. Okay, see how the, hopefully you guys can see how the white paint's getting on there. And I just do a little bit, not too much. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on my leaves here. And glue those on and then that way I can kind of hold on to my leaf 
and I'm going to take some Studio G clear glitter glue. If you do not like glitter glue, you could use some glossy accents. And I'm just going to go over the edges of the flower with some glitter glue because I love a sparkle and it just kind of makes it look like maybe some rain dew. Um, and like I said, you could do that with glossy accents. That really looks like dew on a flower. But I kind of want these to sparkle a little. Just going in here and there. Okay, and then last but not least, I'm just gonna put a blob of glue, a little blob in the center. And I have a white, or actually this is a cream colored flat back pearl. And I'm gonna glue that in the center. And that's it guys. That's how I created my patriotic looking flowers <laughs> and if you guys have any questions let me know thank you so much for watching i hope you have fun making yours and give it a try and take good care happy crafting